What's going on guys? Welcome to the comic web. My name is Ty and I'm going to walk you through one of my, not walk you through, but I'm going to basically just talk a little bit about my favorite, probably my favorite thing ever. And that is none other than AMC's The Walking Dead. I absolutely adore The Walking Dead. Um, I own all the seasons right here on Blu-ray. Um, I have all the comics. I have the first nine hardcover graphic novels. Um, I have the first compendium. I, I pick it up in single issues now. I just, I, I, I love The Walking Dead. And a lot of people, I've gotten a lot of people into The Walking Dead here recently with, we just ended season um, five. And people would basically not really start The Walking Dead at first. They kind of, you know, they didn't really like the idea of zombies. They didn't like, you know, I got this old guy too, little Daryl, <laughs> random. They didn't really like the idea of zombies. They didn't really like the idea of horror, you know, um, but I had to really explain to them. Let me grab my, I threw my discs over here. From, from the very beginning, The Walking Dead has been more than, um, a zombie story. It has been a, I don't want to say soap opera, but it's been a story about love. It's been a story about drama. It's been a story about action. Um, it's, but it's all, and it's also had horror and zombies and, um, character development from, from the very, very, very beginning. Um, it's just been a show of nonstop craziness. Um, basically the greatest zombie epic of the last three decades. And I would still say that that's true today. I think the show all the way up into the last episode that just aired has been nothing but quality. Um, I don't buy a lot of movies and DVDs because, you know, I have Netflix and stuff and Walking Dead's even on Netflix. But I bought, I went out and I bought every single season on Blu-ray, um, which isn't cheap. And especially like these steelbooks um, can get up there in price. But I, I, I had to get them because I adore this franchise. I love the video game, which I have, but that's a digital thing, so I can't like show you. I have every single comic book, you know, in hardcover, uh, in paperback form, and in single issue. You know, I have multiple versions of the first issue from reprints to 10th anniversary editions. I have little figures. I I play The Walking Dead survival instinct and enjoy myself to a certain extent, even though it's terrible. Like, I am a huge. This is, like, my favorite. I don't even like, I don't even like zombie things very much. Like, I... I don't. Like, I've never been a 28 Days Later fan, really. Maybe if I rewatched them after watching The Walking Dead, I would maybe have some kind of appreciation for the, for the movies. But, like, I'm telling you, this show has, like, changed me, changed my life. I've never, I, like, I don't know what it is. I, this show is just, just blows my mind. I can't wait for it every single week. It, it kills me to wait every single week. I have a Daryl Dixon glass. You can't see it, but it's right there next to my Buzz Lightyear. My, a Daryl Dixon glass that my sister got me that I make sure is washed every single Sunday for The Walking Dead because I adore The Walking Dead. And if you haven't seen The Walking Dead or read The Walking Dead, you really need to give it a shot. I love The Walking Dead from the start because I... Love the character Rip Grimes so, so much. He is my favorite character in anything. I I can say, like, him and Spider-Man are... I think he might even beat Spider-Man to me. Like, he... I don't know what it is about him. Like, I love his struggle in the beginning with him... Um, this will be light on the spoilers, by the way. With him trying to find his family, and then him finding them, and then him changing from this really, really, really good guy to this... Um, not a bad guy, but someone who will do whatever it takes to survive and keep his uh, family and now, you know, his family and uh, his friends safe, who in the beginning, where in the beginning, he would keep his friends safe and stuff, but he wouldn't cross certain lines. He wouldn't kill. Um, but, you know, and that was, that was Rick Grimes for, 
you know, the first two seasons is he was the sheriff. He, you know, really, really wanted to protect and serve. Um, he helped people out. He brought people in. He didn't kill. He almost did in the second season, but he didn't kill. He kept his, kept his um, morals to himself. And then season three happened, and Rick went nuts. I won't tell you why, but Rick went nuts and, um, you know, basically lost that moral standpoint of, you know, I don't want to kill anybody to now, you know, I we do what it takes to survive. You are not to quoting um, the last season that just ended, you know, no matter what anyone says, you are not safe. Like, you know, and, and right, you know, fourth season, just nothing but fantastic here. He, you know, is, is at this point where he's got it to where he wants to not go crazy. And he doesn't want to lie to people and he doesn't want to, but he still has to. But he, because he knows what it takes to survive. And we're at Alexandria, which, um, you know, we're way, we're, we've been in Alexandria for a long time in the comic books. He... Um, he's leading this group now in the way they need to go. But he's not crazy. Some people think he is. I don't believe that Rick is crazy right now. I believe that he is smart, and I believe that he knows what he's doing. Um, that's my little Rick Grimes rant. And it's the same with the comic books. I mean, in the comic books, he was this good Samaritan guy, you know, um the change wasn't as drastic I, I i don't personally think from compared to the tv show uh there you know he there was a moment in the comic books um in the ish in too far gone was the uh trade paperback uh title i don't remember the issue i think it was 49 or 48 uh, or was it 50 where he went just freaking nuts because of something that happened. Like I said, light spoilers, but I won't completely spoil it. Something happened to him and he went into a coma, leaving Carl, his son, to basically fend for himself. And Rick was going crazy. He was carrying a phone around, hearing voices. Like, he was losing his mind. But he didn't go crazy as in he was, like, mad. There was only one point. This is a big spoiler. He cuts the hand off of a lover of his but that's to save his son but he's he's like from what we can tell what we could tell he was in love with this girl and he hacked her hand off because he wants to protect his son and i i i love that feeling i love that in the character that he's like this is my freaking kid type deal like i just i just rick could rick could murder everyone in the team and i'd probably find some kind of justification for it which sounds awful <laughs> But I re I I just I just love the character and I love all the characters in The Walking Dead. Maggie, Glenn, uh, Herschel, Herschel, uh, freaking Daryl, Merle, Shane, even Shane, Lori, Carl. Like I I I I I have some arguments about Lori that uh, I can defend her pretty well. But anyway, yeah. The point that I'm trying to get is. If you're a comic book fan, you need to go out and just oh, get these. You know, they come in hardcover, um, trade paperback, single issues, compendiums. Compendiums, you know, they have like 50 or 49 issues in one thing. That's actually how I read the book. Um, I actually discovered the show first, which is sad, but I discovered the show first. By season two, I fell in love with the show, and then I went out and I bought the first compendium. Um, and then comic book store here, Twilight Comics, shout out in Shiloh in the St. Louis area, uh, on Black Friday was selling all nine. I, so I have up to nine in hardcover for like a hundred bucks. That's super cheap. Cause, cause these are like 35 bucks a piece, uh, cover price. So that's why some of these, and some of these are still sealed cause I just haven't got back to rereading the hardcovers. Um, cause I'm. I've read all of them uh, so far. I've read, I've definitely read, picked certain issues and read them on, on multiple occasions. Um, you know, Robert Kirkman and uh, Charlie Adler are just 
a fantastic duo and just, you know, you guys really, 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 really need to read The Walking Dead. I suggest reading it in either the hardcover form, the trade paperbacks, or the compendiums. Um, I pick it up monthly now, um, which is fine, but I find myself letting them sit and collect. It's like at about six or seven uh, single issues before I even read them. Because it's such an epic story to where I, you know, I don't just want to read one. It ends, it ends, and I'm like, are you serious? Like, that's all I get? Like, you know, so I have to, uh, I have to let them collect. Like, I haven't even read any of the new ones. I have a new one sitting, and I'm pretty sure I'm like six, seven, maybe even eight issues behind. So I've always thought about just getting the trade paperbacks. Still a debate, but I don't, I don't know. I like picking it up. I like the thought of having a single. Um, and you should watch the TV show. I actually prefer the TV show to the comic, which is extremely rare, I think, with any case. But I love the direction that the TV show took. Um, the TV show is similar, but a completely separate story. There are um, character changes. There are ways that they went off in a new direction with some things. For instance, right now, we have these characters called the Wolves that are being introduced as this villain in uh, the new season we just ended. And we got kind of hints in season five, but season six should be the wolves. Um, and that's not even a character in the uh, comic books. Like, we have no idea. It's not Negan, who Negan is the big bad right now, um, still. And he's been freaking the big bad forever. But we, uh, the wolves are a completely separate character to anything like it's it's a tv show creation we have a spinoff coming out this summer called fear the walking dead you guys know that you can catch reviews of fear the walking dead on the comic web you know this freaking summer basically after every episode airs before a new episode comes out because i'm super excited because they're just expanding this world and continuing to give me good content and i know it will be good like i have so much faith in that season in this in this franchise I'm gonna freaking, I'm not a mobile gamer, but I'm gonna freaking buy if it costs uh, No Man's Land on the phone because I love The Walking Dead. I bought The Walking Dead Assault. I barely play it, but I bought it on iOS. And I, that doesn't mean it's bad. I actually think it's really fun when I do play it. I just don't have the time. But yeah, I just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give it a chance. You gotta read it. You gotta watch it. I suggest, personally, giving the show a watch first um, it's all on netflix or like i said the first four seasons are out on blu-ray and dvd um or i don't want to tell you to find them on the internet but um yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> um just just watch like the first season is six episodes i always tell people just just watch the first season and you will not stop. A lot of people think the second season drags, um, but then I think after a certainly after a rewatch, I don't think that is true at all. I think the second season um, is definitely great. I think a lot of my favorite moments have happened in season two. Um, it's just probably coming out weekly. It just kind of seemed a little bit dull, and I understand that. But watching it in one sitting is fantastic. Um, season three, I, I know a lot of people. I know kind of didn't dig season three as much as they dug the first two seasons, but I know a lot of people, I found a lot of reviews online uh, similar to this one saying that this was like the best season. And I kind of agree that this was definitely the best season up to point. Um, and then season four is out also, which I, this has my favorite episode ever too far gone in the walking dead. So I think season four, I actually think five just ended. I think that's my favorite season of all time. I think that they just went to new heights with that, but it's all good. It's all good. You can find it. You can watch it. You can read it. And yeah, there will be more Walking Dead videos. I have a lot of videos planned coming up. So this has been Ty from the Comic Web, and I'm going to peace out.